Hello, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Tailgater S. This car is going to set you back a little over 1.1 million. There is no trade discount to take advantage of. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into our usual where I talk a little bit while the car is being customized. So, first thing I'm going to say, this vehicle, because of the way the customization works it's very hard to make a subtle build or even a medium tier build uh, this is one you pretty much just have to full send race mode the entire thing there really is next to no way of getting around it unless you just don't want any upgraded front bumper and don't want any upgraded rear bumper and you just don't want to upgrade anything that's basically the only way you could make the car stay subtle um, but if you want to do basically any work to it you're gonna have to pretty much go full race mode like I am um, now I'll admit the car looks really nice full race mode because this is the same car that you actually have to drive from the police lot or impound um, when you first get to your garage for their test mission. It is the same vehicle. Now because of that fact I am not going to necessarily sit here and list off everything in the detail like I did with every other vehicle um, because for the most part a lot of the people have driven this car. If you've bought the mechanic garage, you've driven this car. So you know how it handles. For those of you that haven't though, it handles just like pretty much what you would think an Audi would handle like. It handles like it's all-wheel drive. It takes the corners fairly nicely. It tends to slide a little bit on the far outside of the corner. So you just gotta make sure you brake kinda as you're coming through. It tends to want to kick itself out. But if you can control it kicking itself out, the handling is pretty good, the acceleration is pretty good, the braking is pretty good. It's just you have to learn the car, and you have to learn this is one that you just have to not be afraid to speed into a corner, slam on the brakes last minute, start going through, let it kick out, get back on the gas again. It's like the easiest way that this one works. But you definitely uh, have to get the timing down for it. But... This one is a really good car. This is actually a car that can keep up with the ZR350 and the Jester RR. And if you play your cards right, you can even beat the ZR350 and the Jester RR. Um, so I hope this video helps you guys determine what you wanted to do here. Because the car is really good at running. You can get a high placement my opinion definitely is not the best looking out of the update um, but that's all I have for you guys and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one I'm out peace